We'll do we'll do the Nicholas Avocado avocado video. Of course, I got to make sure I say it correctly because when I say it too fast, it sounds like a suspicious. Uh, it sounds a little more suspicious than I'd like it to sound. If you know what I'm saying, Nicholas Avocado avocado. The iceberg explained. Fell. Relax by Dan Tavius. Give it a watch. Oh, overweight. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I think Nick knows what he's doing. Anyway. I have no idea what's going on. Where did it come from? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Dude, get out of here. I'm Dantavius, how you doing? Jesus and it's way Christ. too hot for me to be wearing this sweatshirt. Today we're doing an iceberg video on the infamous okay. and dubious YouTube creator, Nikocado Avocado. Now, if you don't already know, an iceberg Nikocado. is a way to sort information from most known to least known, blah, 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 blah. Nikocado. Anyways, <clears throat> if you've been on the internet for longer than a day, chances are you've seen Nikocado Avocado. He's like Thanos, man. So he's saying Nikocado, because he knows if you say Nikocado. See, I said Nikocado. It's just too, like, you can't say it too fast. You know what I mean? You just can't do it like that. He's inevitable. Like, you've probably seen one of his weird thumbnails or a clip of him freaking out or something like that. Now, as we all know, Nikocado is mostly known for doing mukbangs and eating massive quantities of food. So, in honor of that, I went and picked up some Popeyes. You know, I didn't have to do this. I just wanted an excuse God to eat Popeyes. damn it. I want fucking Popeyes now. Now I gotta eat better. I gotta eat healthier. To be honest. As I was saying, I've been consuming a lot of his content recently for the purposes of doing research for this video. And I have to say, the more I look into him, the more confused I get. Like, I'm more confused about him now than I was at the beginning. You'll see what I'm talking about. But before we get into this iceberg, let's do a little backstory on Nikocado Avocado. Long story short, he used to be a skinny little twink vlogger, and now he's a big fat guy who does mukbangs while crying and soiling himself. Why do people say mukbang? Why don't you say mukbang? Like, even if that's not the right way to say it. Like, you know, we're all white. It's okay. We, we get the pass of saying shit incorrectly, you know what I mean? So what, why just, just, say it, just say it white, you know? That's pretty much all you need to know. <laughs> if you oh, say his name, he knows it like Voldemort. You guys are so dumb. I forgot. Shout out to Reddit user DogXD, however the heck you pronounce that, for making this chart. If you want to follow along with me as I'm going, there's a link in the description. Now let's go! Method acting. Now, we all know that Nikocado is infamous on YouTube Nikocado. for not only slowly eating himself to death, but also for his weird antics and behavior. What's weird about that? Explain. Now, it's been speculated by many people, including myself, that this is just all an act. That he's not just some mentally deranged fat schmuck, but he's- uh, Yeah, of course it's an act. I think, though, that, um... It's obviously, like, an act. It's just, like, I think as a creator, it's just, like, sad that you... First of all, you're you're literally killing yourself with the way that you're eating. Like, that part is, like, true. You know what I mean? Like, regardless of whether it's an act or not, it's, like, wholly irrelevant in that case. Um, but like, even from that point, it's like, if, why aren't you, don't you feel embarrassed, you know? Like, I would feel kind of embarrassed. I just into presenting yourself the way you're presenting yourself, but maybe that's just me. He's actually a diabolical genius playing a role. But hey, don't take it from me. Take it from the man himself. He's admitted it multiple times. I have really gotten into health and diets for a while. Again, you would never know based on what I do now. I really do what I do for money, that's really it. Money and viewers. I'm actually very educated, you guys. I know this train wreck on YouTube, it's all on purpose, you know? I'm an actor, okay? I went to ask, acting school for four years. Like, I, I... That's very method acting. It's just sad, bro, because you're eating yourself to fucking death. Like, it's not healthy for you. He's like, oh, I have a dietitian, but it's like, I know that you're fucking taking pills and shit. And I also feel like part of his behavior, he probably just, part of it, he's probably like, yeah, it's just an act, guys. Like, he exaggerates it, but, like, the eating is something he desires to do. Um, and it's, like, this really weird relationship that he has with food, too, because, like, it does pay the bills. So it's, like, that's another aspect or another problematic aspect of that relationship. It's different, okay? I'm, actual, I'm actually a person strategizing what I do. I'm not actually stupid. I play the role of stupid because it sells, but... Anyways, it's honest hour. This man is truly a modern day Leonardo DiCaprio. No, True. better. Fat fetishism. This shouldn't come as much of a surprise, but the internet is full of degenerates. One such group of degenerates calls themselves feeders or gainers. According no. to the r slash. It's so interesting because like, um, it, it's like one of those weird things that what like draws the line between being a fetish or being attracted to something or having a preference versus like a fetish. And I think that comes to like the level of possible like abuse almost right so like a feeder somebody who's trying to not not like just fundamentally feeding somebody is like really unhealthy for that person it's not good for them because like they're overeating and it's like really bad and toxic and harmful for that person 
But going even further, it's like a lot of if you watch any feeders um, interact, <clears throat> they're kind of abusive about the way that they like do that they that they do it. It's like they don't even. It's in a lot of cases, it seems like they just want to like humiliate the person. Like you're disgusting, you know that kind of energy, and it's just fucking. It's, cra it's sad, you know. Um, and that's that's just one of the things because like you know you could have like a preference for like oh I have a preference for black like oh I have a preference for black people black girls versus like oh I have like a fetish for them like I like to like berate them and call them the n word and shit you know what I mean like there's there's like there's a part there's like a hatred aspect of when it comes to a lot of these fetishes, um, you know. Gainer subreddit, they're men or women. I think I think that feet are different because it's like a foot fetish. I don't think like I don't know like idolizing feet. I don't know if you, it becomes like an abusive thing at that point. It's just like a heavy preference. I think that's when people say a fetish when it comes to like feet. When it comes to like fetishizing identities, I guess you'd say it becomes like a lot more like hate oriented. Like a lot of people who watch like the trans porn like are they hate trans people. It's like I like they just hate it, you know. And it's like almost like a, an area. Ah, it's almost like an area of like abuse. Actually attracted to or fetishize the idea or physical act of growing bigger, fatter, or rounder. And you know, I know people always say you shouldn't kink shame, but I'm of the opinion that you absolutely should kink shame. Shame on you, gainers. In addition to gainers, there's also stuffers, bloaters, feeders, who in addition to getting turned on by people gaining weight, they also enjoy watching people eat. Now let's put all this together. What does Nikocado Avocado do in all of his videos? He eats massive quantities of food oh, and he it? gains weight. I mean, the guy is clearly trying to get as fat as possible. Mm -hmm. Look at some of these videos. I'm 300 pounds. Baby, congratulations. You're eating an unhealthy amount. You wouldn't eat that much in a normal sitting, would oh, you? Oh, no. No, no, no. Why are you doing it that amount of food? Because it's a great excuse to get fat. He also did an interview with Keemstar and Leafy on the subject of gaining weight, where he said his goal was to get on the show My 600 Pound Life. This is a pattern that's going on with you and, and the butt bangs and you gaining weight. If we look to the future, we're going to start hitting that 400, uh, you know, pounds. And what's the point? I'll be on TLC with my own special. That's the goal. I've already, talked, I've already talked to people. I'm trying to work oh it out. God. My team is pitching different stories. No, no, you'll see. It's going to be great. Now, you would think this guy would be some kind of icon in the feeder community, but I actually read a post from the sub I mentioned earlier, and it looks like not even they're into it. But hey, I'm sure there's somebody whacking off to this. OnlyFans. It's a well-known fact that Nick has an OnlyFans account. Not That's, only that, but... I've, I have... I've accidentally stumbled upon it. You know, unfortunately, unfortunately. No, I watched it. I did a video review on it. You guys should look it up. Papa got uh, Nikocado Avocado OnlyFans review. It's, you just take, a, take a look at it. He's in the top 0.14%, okay? That's not the top 1%. Top 1%. That's the top 0.1%. Now, I have to admit, I'm pretty curious to see what's on here. And for the limited time offer of 10% off, I this? couldn't pass it up. So let's see what's going on. Oh, no. Oh, what? What the hell is this? Thing? This... This was not meant to see by human eyes. True. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. What am I doing, man? What am, what am I doing with my life? I think it's safe to say True. I'm not going to get too in-depth on his OnlyFans. If you want to deep dive on what's on there, go watch one of the thousands of other videos on YouTube about uh, this topic. Oh, there I am. It's right here. There I am. Papa Gut. Right here. I bought Nikocado Avocados OnlyFans. You like that? Boom. Boom, right there. Topic, but I would suggest not looking into it at all and just move on with your life True. with whatever sanity you have left. YouTube. I mean, I will say that at the very least, he does provide a lot of content. Now, you can criticize him, but at least he's not just like he's not just like farming it. You know, there's some people who will make an OnlyFans and then they they like Modern Warrior and they won't really put anything on there. It's like okay, like I don't want to see it because I'm just reviewing this to kind of make fun of you. But at the very least, you could provide content to people who are going to pay. You know, so he he does commit. He spreads everything. He spreads everything. Whether you think that's a good or bad thing, it's up to you. Now, the phrasing of that is a little bit weird, but I think the guy who made this is referring to the fact that Nikocado revived his YouTube channel by doing these disgusting mukbangs. He went from being a soft-spoken, thin guy to... Mm. Most of you already know this, but in the early stages of Nikocado's YouTube career, he was eating a raw vegan diet. But due to the toxicity of the vegan community, as well as a decline in his mental and physical health, which he attributed to the diet, he decided to give up veganism. So he started eating a normal diet, but as we know, it uh, eventually went off the rails. Yeah, it's so interesting because when you look at that, it's like he, you know, I would argue that he's always had a negative relationship or am I going to lose here? Oh, there we go. He's always had like an unhealthy relationship with food in some capacity. Like if you, if you had an issue, 
um, with your diet. I just, it, that's just like the. I'm gonna lose here. I'm gonna get so upset. Um, sorry. He had an un, he had like an unhealthy relationship with food from the start. Eat, whether it was like under eating or it seems like his veganism was inspired by like oh, like probably to some extent like obsessive dieting. Uh, so it's like really interesting. And then now, what does he do now? He overeats. It's just fucked up. It just seems to be like an, an appropriate relationship with food in general. Okay. And well, people on the internet love a train wreck, and this train wreck is what revitalized his career as a YouTuber. Actually, Ukrainian. This is referring to the fact that Nikakata was adopted as a baby from Ukraine. Actually, bipolar. Wow. Bipolar disorder is characterized by extreme mood swings that range from depression to manic episodes. Now, from watching his content, it's easy to see why people would think he's bipolar, but he stated himself that he's not. Well, I didn't test positive for bipolar or personality disorder or anything, but I got. They say I have ADD and OCD. But hey man, okay. I took one Who's semester of psychology right? in college and I'm gonna go ahead and diagnose him right now. Nikocado Avocado, you are officially bipolar, has diabetes. You'd be surprised to know that Mr. Avocado actually does not have diabetes. I doubt it, um, truly. I just, I kind of would almost guarantee that he does have diabetes. Um, Him saying I'm not diabetic is not proof that he's not diabetic. Like, I mean, he's really unhealthy looking, overweight. I guarantee you he's probably at least pre-diabetic, so. I know, shocking, right? He actually has hypoglycemia, also known as Paul Blart Malkoff disease. We all have our crosses to bear, sweetheart. Mine is named that? hypoglycemia. Water weight is real, a reoccurring gag used by- yeah, Let's look into what that is. Um, hypoglycemia. Uh, is a condition in which your body sugar is lower than normal. Oh, so he has he okay. So that's the only reason he's not diabetic then, because he has hypoglycemia. Okay, because he has low blood sugar. So if anything, it, it justifies him eating like shit, kind of. Okay, damn. I wish I had that because might have reverse hypoglycemia. I've uh, I'm I have too much sugar in my blood. Kakata was that his massive girth is due to water weight. See how much I sweat. That's water for all you idiots and bimbo boneheads out there that think that you know, it's interesting though is that like carbohydrates actually like help retain water so like even if it was water weight it would be because you have to, you're eating too many carbs and you're retaining too much water due to your bad diet so even if it <laughs> doesn't even matter how fat you've gained about 50 pounds from when we first saw you on YouTube maybe a little bit more right well of water but go ahead it's just water weight no <laughs> Now, the two interpretations of this phrase. One is that he's actually delusional and thinks it is water weight despite eating massive quantities of junk food. And mean. the second is that he's just having a goof, which I think is the most likely. Yeah. Aside from those two ideas, there's also a third theory, a lesser known theory that states the water weight is real. Now, I personally believe in the third theory because if I don't believe in it, then I have to admit to myself that my fatness is not water weight. So yeah, I'm gonna true. go ahead and believe it. Doesn't actually love cheese. If you are an avid Nikocado watcher, then you know that this man loves his cheese. In fact, he loves it so much that he frequently sings about it. I love cheese. I love cheese. Who doesn't though? We love like who doesn't love cheese? I feel like that's a that's so normal. Cheese. Yes, we do. Look at this Isle of Cheese. Wow. <laughs> There's even a compilation video on YouTube detailing this man's infatuation with cheese. But if this theory is to be believed, huh? what? But if this theory is to be believed, stupid. In today's video, phrases and words that make you look like an idiot. But if this wow. theory is to be believed, then he doesn't actually love cheese at all. And I like how he didn't just record it. They re-recorded. He's like, I'm just gonna go to myself and. <laughs> <laughs> Just part of the character that Nikocado created. Now, you may be asking yourself, what's the basis for this claim? Well... There, there, there is not honestly i don't i don't even know what it is man i'm just reading shit off a list ibs case nice. study i'm gonna be honest when i was first going through this list i spent a long time trying to figure out what this was referring to like i didn't even have the slightest guess but after a few hours of reflecting on the toilet i think i know what it means now so nico has been known to shit his pants a little bit you know yeah, no hate because it happens to all of us but True. this man has had like multiple compilations of him soiling himself he even sold himself on trisha paytas's couch man well i'm sitting on this couch it's a pink couch Bro, I guarantee it's a it's a it's a food issue. It's a hundred percent eating like shit issue and like having, or maybe it's also a little bit of like a gay thing. I'm not even. I'm just saying, like when you get wee wee's in your butt and the, your butt your butthole control is like a little less. So he probably just got a little you know he got a little booty tapping, and uh, he can't control his uh, you know his, uh, his uh, chocolate train, chocolate fudge town. Brand new, mind you. That's the thing about anal sex is it, it, it makes it easier to poop, but then 
which is a good thing because you could have a quick shit, but then also it can make it easier to poop. Then that means you can poop yourself, you know. Plus, his diet's probably horrible. Made, which obviously is horrible. even worse. I thought I had to like lose it, you know, relax the digestive tract and just go beep, little, little poop. Yeah, right. power bottom energy. Ethan, we need you. That liquid come out. Liquid. Liquid. And as soon as that happens, she's walking back in the room and he's there. I'm like, I'm like, I don't want to get off this couch. These incidents are clear signs of IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. I, I think. I have no idea, honestly. I didn't really look up anything about this. But let, let's fucking move on, man. I don't want to think about this guy shitting himself anymore. Secretly nice. dating Hungry Fat Chick. Candy Godiva, better known as Hungry Fat Chick, is a YouTuber and model. Do yourself a favor. Do not look up her Instagram. Do not make the same mistake. Why? Hold on. Hold on. Give, me, give me a second. I have to look it up. A YouTuber and model. Do yourself a favor. Hold on. Hold on. Candy, but let's fucking move on, man. I don't want to think about this guy shitting himself anymore. Secretly dating hungry fat chick. Candy Godiva. Hungry fat chick. She did. Did she die? Is she dead? Because that's the first thing that comes up. So this is her. Um, I'll look on the side. There's really nothing here. It's just a bunch of pictures of her. Wait, what's so what's so bad about this? I don't understand. Am I missing something? Way down inside, honey. I guess there's some kind of OnlyFans here, but like, what's okay? I don't really see. Better known as Hungry Fat Chick is a YouTuber and model. Do yourself a favor. Do not look up her Instagram. Do not make the same mistake as me. Anyways, okay. she's a frequent collaborator of Mr. Avocado and they have quite a few videos together. Now, it's been speculated by some that the two are in some sort of secret romance, but okay. they've both denied it. Now, this one isn't completely far-fetched because Nico but... Kato has dated women in the past. Today's a very special video because I'm here with my ex-girlfriend. What, what grade were we in when we had her, like... Well, she... he has a type. Very... Thing. Fourth, fourth grade. Fourth, fourth into fifth grade, yeah. Are we talking about the thing in the bushes or the... Bro, this guy was pulling in fourth grade? I didn't yeah. even know what women were in fourth grade. Holy moly. He wasn't adopted. Now, we touched on the fact that Nikakata was adopted from the Ukraine as a child. But according to one theory, he wasn't adopted at all. He just made the whole thing up as a part of his character. Maybe. And the real Nicholas Perry is actually from Wisconsin. Purposely destroying the mukbang community. Now, I'm gonna be honest here for a second. I don't get mukbangs, man. I think they're weird. I think people who watch them are weird. Uh, I don't, I don't, li I, I hate them, okay? I think they're the worst things to ever come out of Asia, and that's including Gosh, every that's virus, insane, uh, rice gum, and hentai. Anyways, according to this theory. Whoa! He Why are you hating on hentai, bro? What the fuck did hentai do to you, dude? What the fuck, bro? Come on. Come on, bro. What the fuck, bro? Damn shame. A damn shame. A damn shame. Kato also hates mukbangs. In fact, he hates them so much that he's willing to infiltrate the community and destroy it from the inside at the wow. cost of his own health. Maybe. He's like an obese Manchurian candidate. It's really quite genius if you think about it. He comes up True. with this elaborate character, starts doing disgusting mukbang videos while pooping his pants, and now people associate mukbangs with some fat white dude shitting his pants. Honestly, wow. it, it's uh, completely genius, and I support Maybe. it 100%. Fat suit. I guess for some people, it's hard to believe that somebody gained this much weight that fast for, for views. Now, I'm pretty sure he's not wearing a fat suit because his face is also fat. So either he wears full prosthetic expensive ass makeup or he's <laughs> just naturally rotund. Fast food lobbyists. So companies are known for doing covert ad campaigns. And the best ad campaigns are the ones that you don't even know are advertising True. to you. For example, the movie Castaway starring Tom Hanks was just an elaborate ad for FedEx. Now, it's believed by some people that a conglomerate of fast food chains came together and devised the plan to sell more fast food by creating this Nico Cotto avocado character. Wait, so he's not even adopted. He's just, he's created, he was just created by the government or by fast food corporations to sell market holy fuck dude that's actually probably true dude i believe that 100 i believe it 100 i am 100 on board with this uh insane theory it's it's true it has to be true who eats copious amounts of food and does all sorts of crazy stuff to bring more attention to fast food now this cannot be true because who watches a nikocado avocado video and says to themselves after man i could really go for some long john silvers Bro, uh, every time I've watched it, every time I've watched it, it's made me want to eat whatever he's selling. So, it's true. I don't know, dude. I think you're a little off base on that one, brother. A little off base there. Right now. Okay, nobody. If anything, watching his videos will make you less likely to eat anything for a few days. Know. Jasper is the father. For this entry, I'm going to play you a clip for context. Some five months pregnant. Jasper was a daddy, but now apparently I'm the baby daddy. You are not the baby daddy. You're not the baby daddy. Jasper's the baby daddy. Now, let's break this down. What does this mean? 
Seriously, what does this mean? I have no clue. If you know, please let me know in the comments. Brain shrinking theory. Nikagato has stated in multiple videos that his diet of fast food is shrinking his brain. Is wow. this reality or is this the food? It was talking to you right now. Is it me or is it the food? I can feel the cheese kick factory making me evil. If you have too much of something that's not good for you, you're gonna, it's gonna affect your mind. Now, is there any validity to this theory? Well, a YouTuber named Kiana Doherty, I think, I think that's how you pronounce it, actually did a video on this topic. And it's a very good video. I would highly recommend checking it out. But the short answer is yes. Yes, it's possible. In fact, it's definitely happening. His mukbang diet consists of massive quantities of foods that have been shown to interfere with essential blood flow to the wow. brain, slow communication Same. between brain cells, and even attack the fragile brain through aggressive molecules called free radicals. Scientists have found that an unhealthy lifestyle, especially one sustained over a period of time, can result in similar brain changes that mimic the brain deterioration and shrinkage that we see in dementia and Alzheimer's. Wow. There's strong evidence that people's unhealthy eating habits and lack of exercise puts them at a serious risk of developing significant declines in brain function such wow. as dementia and brain is that what's going on his channel is a psyop first things first what the heck is a psyop well a psyop or psychological operation is an action carried out by the military or intelligence agencies designed to influence the perceptions and attitudes of oh, individuals no. groups Ooh. and foreign governments oh, okay. and that's ripped straight from urban dictionary baby wow. the purpose of psychological operations is to induce or reinforce behavior favorable to a nation's objectives they can also be used to distract people from certain topics or issues now how does Nikocado have a Avocado fit into all this? Well, open your eyes, sheeple. It's right there. It's right in front of you. People are obsessed with this man. So they spend all day watching his videos and do nothing else. His mental and physical decline is impossible to turn away from, and he has thousands of hours of content to keep people occupied. I mean, look at me. You know how much time I spent researching for this video while watching this guy's videos? You know how much time people are wasting watching this dude's hour-long mukbangs? just to find like a little nugget of, of like a like a sound bite. Now think about it for a second. Isn't it kind of odd that he started gaining a bunch of attention while we're on the verge of a financial collapse? It's right in front of us, man. Actually, that's a really good point, bro. They're using Nikocado Avocado as a way uh, to distract us from that. And also they're using it as a way to cancel white people. Because if I say, if you say his name too fast, you end up on black Twitter. So. Man, the vaccine, COVID, D's nuts, they, they're all connected. What was I talking about? I don't remember. Let's move on. Nick and Orlin's real sexuality. Now, I'm not sure, but I think this is hinting at the fact that Nikocado and Orlin aren't actually gay, but they're just best friends pulling off the most epic troll in history. There's multiple videos Maybe. of them engaging in coitus, so if this is a bit, they're really committed yeah, to like it. Yeah, like, I, listen, I've, I have seen it. They are, they're stuffing their jamblers, if you know what I'm saying, okay? They are going... Turbo, like Max Steel from the show Max Steel. I just got some disgusting images in my head, so let's move on. Visit Florida rep. So after being banished from Colombia for working with the cartels, Nick moved to Orlando, Florida, what? where he still resides to this day. Is it possible that he works for Visit Florida, aka Florida's official tourism agency? No, probably not. Like, he barely mentions that he lives in Florida, and what about this man's content is gonna make me want to go to Florida? Dead body in one thumbnail. Okay, now... I don't know if you want to kill him, I guess, but... <laughs> man, it's fucking weird. I could not find this thumbnail anywhere, so I had to resort again to using the dark web. And after hours of searching, I finally found something. Okay, you see that there on the right side? That's a body wrapped in a trash bag. It literally, why that it literally looks photoshopped. If that's a real thing, it's probably just like a clickbait. That's there, but I'm guessing they ate this guy. Like, why would they have a body bag if they ate him? What are you talking about, bro? It doesn't make sense. You, you wouldn't have a body to eat left. On this iceberg so far. <laughs> You haven't seen anything, bro. You're about to hear some of the craziest shit you'll ever hear in your life, all right? It was all baby stuff until now. These next two layers, absolute insanity. Let's go. Orlin is Mudahor. Okay, I know this one sounds ridiculous, Wait, but Wait, that one's probably true, I think, actually. Okay. All right. Bear with me. Cool. Here's a picture of Mudahar, and here's a picture of Orlin home. Whoa! You're telling me that's not the same person. Like, come on, bro. I think I just proved my point. Amalgamation of sin. Now, this one was hard to decipher, but my interpretation of this is that Nikocado Avocado is the human embodiment of gluttony, which, as we know, is one of the seven deadly sins. Maybe. I don't think this needs any more explanation. There's probably better people to make the human embodiment of gluttony, though. I mean, Nikocado is not really anywhere close to one of the fattest people in the world. You know what I mean? Like, there are certainly... Chunker, chunkier. Orlin is a figment of our imaginations. <laughs> Damn. No, that's impossible. The guy has his own channel. I'll search it up right now. Okay, that's a little bit weird, but probably just a coincidence. I mean, YouTube has errors like this all the time. I mean, I showed you guys multiple videos of them together. I mean, wh wh what's going on? Dude, he doesn't exist. 
Do I even exist? This would have been a, this would have been a good one to start with, you know. Last MK Ultra experiment. For those who don't know, MK Ultra was a secret program ran by the CIA in the 1950s. The main objective of this program was to figure out if it was possible to control people's minds using different substances such as LSD, as well as other okay. techniques. Now most of the details of this program are obviously classified, but I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere that they were using fast food as one of the experiments. Don't uh, don't fact check me on that though. Now you're probably thinking Nick is too young to have been part of MK Ultra, and you have a point. MK Ultra ended in 1973 officially. Okay, True. that's just what's on the books. But you can't trust that shit. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but hear me out. Nikocado Avocado was the last MK Ultra experiment. When he was arrested by the Colombian government in 2017, he made a deal with the CIA to get extradited into the US and avoid prison time. Wow. In exchange, he volunteered to be a that part of MK true. Ultra. I mean, that explains everything. That explains how true. he went from being a soft spoken vegan to a gluttonous mess of a man. The last Hyperborean. So in Greek mythology, Hyperborea was a land in the North Pole inhabited by an advanced civilization that mysteriously disappeared. Shit. Kinda like they don't look that advanced, though, comparatively to today. Atlantis, but in the North Pole. What does this have to do with Nikocado Avocado? I don't know. AI-generated videos. Okay, so we've talked a lot about all the possible scenarios behind Nico's transformation, but I think this one is possibly the craziest. Nikocado Avocado isn't even real. He's just an AI, and all of his videos are generated by AI. Think about it. Have you ever seen Nikocado not on screen? Has anyone you know ever seen him? Exactly. Now, we've seen stuff- Shit, that's a good point. Damn, he might not be real. Like this before, remember Timmy Thick, the dude with the voluptuous ass cheeks? Well, it turns out that Timmy Thick was just a Harvard experiment. What was the purpose of that experiment? There's no way. What? Cheeks? Well, it turns out that Timmy Thick was- 24 months psychological, uh, sociology. Oh my God. Dude, the fucking fast food's making me fat. Sociological study conducted by Harvard University are now complete with our study. I don't think that that's true, but that's funny. It was just a Harvard experiment. What was the purpose of that experiment? Who knows? But I don't think it's too far of a stretch to say that Nikocado was also some kind of social experiment. Who true. knows, man? Who knows what these people are up to? All right, we've done Possible. it, man. We reached the final layer, and I commend you guys for sticking around this far. I know it hasn't been easy, but we've approached the final layer. There's only one entry here, and that entry is the secret mukbang. So Nikocado Avocado had a parrot named Mr. Noodles, who appeared in a lot of his videos. But one day, Mr. Noodle stopped appearing in his videos abruptly. Now, nobody knows what happened to this parrot, but it's been speculated by some that he ate the parrot. And not only did he eat it, but he filmed a mukbang of him eating Mr. Noodles. Now, I tried finding this elusive video, but so far, no luck. I even tried checking the darker web, and there was nothing there. Just when I was about to give up hope, I got this strange email from an unknown person claiming he has the video. Now, I was freaking out a little bit when I saw this, but I had to do my due diligence and at least check it out. I'm gonna share a clip of it with you guys, but I warn you, this is very disturbing. If you're easily grossed out, I would go ahead and skip ahead about 10 seconds. Hi, Gabby! That's probably literally what they sent him. <laughs> Classic. Classic. You know what's crazy? When I first started doing this iceberg, like when I was on the first two layers, I was convinced this was all just an elaborate troll. And I mostly still believe that. But the lower I went and the more I looked into this guy, I'm not sure. The more I watch, the less sure I become. I think that's called the Nikocado effect. Now I think he's I just think he's just very good at being a bullshit artist and fucking insane. But I don't even think that he knows where like the line and begins and ends, you know what I mean? For for who he is versus this character that he portrays. Now, regardless of what you think of the man, one thing is for sure, he is a marketing genius. It's a shame it's at the cost of his health, but hey, who knows? Maybe he has a plan. Maybe it is a fat suit. Maybe this is AI, man. You never fucking know what the world we're living in, man. Shit's crazy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all yeah. think in the comments. Pretty good. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. You go. You'll be like, helping me out tremendously, subscribe. especially oh, now that I have no job, bro. This is like my only income now. Oh, and if you're not already, consider following me on other social media. Very popular. I'm on Twitter. I'm All right, guys. Pretty good video. Liked it a lot. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.